Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm here to talk about the Canadian Census of 2011. A lot of people are talking about this, and um, there are some people who are in the position of a ward of the state, and thus are fearing repercussions from the government due to non-compliance. So I've been looking into this, uh, I've done my own due diligence and I have went and looked at the Canadian Statistics Act and um, I've found some pretty interesting things in there. So let's look at it together and see if there's any remedy for those that would want to protect their privacy. Now as a disclaimer, I'm not part of the Law Society. This is not legal advice. This is merely for educational and entertainment purposes. Alright, so at the very top of the statistics page, or the statistics act, by the way you can find the link in the video description below. Uh, yeah, right at the top of the statistics act, you will see a warning. It says, users of this Office consolidation are reminded that it is prepared for convenience of reference only and that as such it has no official sanction. Now what does this mean? This is in standard English um, so it's very hard to comprehend. This is what we call legalese. So Let's deconstruct this body of words and see what it says. First off, we need to find the keywords in this. So the keywords are user, office, consolidation, official, sanction, and only. Word number one. User, the exercise or employment of a right or property. Now bear in mind that uh, the word right, legally, is in correlation with duty. You always have a duties attached to rights, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Word number two, office. A position of duty, trust, or authority, especially one conferred by a government authority for a public purpose. Next word up is consolidation. The better definition in Black's Law Dictionary is definition number two, which is legislation. The combination into a single statutory measure of various legislative provisions that have been previously been scattered in different statute. In short, um, consolidation is synonymous with legislation or statute. Next word is official, which is authorized by a proper authority. Then we have sanction. The definition for that is a penalty or coercive measure that results from failure to comply with a law, rule, or order. Finally, the word only was not defined in Black's Law, so we'll define it as without anything else, alone, and nothing else or more. So these key words were taken from the body of words which was stating users of this office consolidation are reminded that it is prepared for convenience of reference only and that as, as such it has no official sanction. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the keywords with, with its definition. So instead it would read like the following. Those who exercise a right and duty in relation to this legislation or statute are reminded that it is prepared for convenience of reference and nothing more and that as such it has no approval from any proper authority to force upon by means of penalty from failure to comply. So there we have it folks. Um, I think this is it's pretty clear that um, 
there shouldn't be any penalties enforced upon people for not for non-compliance. So some people might ask themselves, well, why am I having these statistic people telling me that it's my obligation and that I can be fined for not completing the survey? The way I see it is um, it's like a marketing strategy. Their objective is to have as much Canadian fill in the forms as much as possible. If it was stating specifically and clearly that the survey is voluntary, then there wouldn't be too much people filling this survey. I think it's their responsibility to attempt to have you fill in the survey by coercive measures or not, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's your responsibility to provide the personal information. That's my take on it. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. God bless.